Spending all your time on small stuff means you won't get ahead. Here's something important about using your time right. Don't mix up just doing stuff with getting things done. Picture someone who gets home really tired every night and thinks, I've been running around all day. But what have they actually done? Just being busy doesn't mean you're doing important work. Some folks are always busy, but don't really get anywhere. Now let's think about this. Our days are full of little things that seem important, but aren't that big of a deal. Like checking every message right away, keeping your desk super tidy, or answering every email fast. But do these little things really help us with our big goals? Look back at your week. How much time did you spend on stuff that really moves you forward? Here's a story to help see what I mean. There was this guy who cut down trees. On the first day, he cut down 10 trees and felt pretty good about it. He decided to work even longer the next day, but he only cut down nine trees. And each day after that, even though he worked harder, he cut down fewer trees. He felt really bad and didn't understand why. Then he met an old woodcutter who asked him, when did you last sharpen your ax? The man realized he'd been so busy cutting trees that he forgot to sharpen his ax to make his job easier. This story is like our lives. Sometimes we're so busy doing things that we forget to stop and think if we're doing the right things. We should be spending our time on big goals, not just on stuff that keeps us busy. So let's not get tricked by all the little things that want our attention. We should use our time for important things that help us grow and reach our dreams. It's not about how busy you are, but about making sure your hard work is really taking you where you want to go. Let's not just be busy. Let's make sure we're busy doing the right things. Spending a lot of time on small tasks will keep you trailing in life. Here's a vital piece to grasp about how we use our time. Don't confuse just being busy with real success. Imagine this scene. A person comes home wiped out, slumps down, and sighs, I've been nonstop all day. But here's what we need to ask. A deer is doing so doing what exactly? It's not just about running around. Some folks are always on the move, but only making circles, not real strides. This is where the trick lies, thinking you're achieving because you're always moving. Let's peel back the layers on this idea. The world today sells us on Abzi, like it's a trophy. Look at me, always on my feet, always on the call, always full on my schedule. But let's pause and reflect. Are these activities truly pushing us towards our goals or are they just filling our time? Remember, a full calendar doesn't mean a fulfilled life. Let me tell you about a business owner. Let's call him Mike. Mike was always the first to arrive at work and the last to leave. His desk was a flurry of papers, his phone constantly buzzing. Yet despite all this activity, his business wasn't growing. He was like a hamster on a wheel, running fast but staying in place. It wasn't until he learned to prioritize and focus on what truly mattered, building relationships with clients, refining his business model, that he started to see real growth. It wasn't about doing more. It was about doing right. And then there's Sarah, a friend who prides herself on her busy status. Parties, meetings, volunteering, you name it, she was there. But one evening, in a quiet moment of exhaustion, she confessed, I'm everywhere, but nowhere where I truly want to be. Sarah was mistaking motion for progress, activities for fulfillment. She needed to align her actions with her life's true aspirations, focusing on what would bring her real happiness and achievement. This illusion of busyness traps many. We rush from task to task, feeling virtuous for our busyness. Yet at day's end, we're no closer to our dreams. It's like digging in multiple spots, hoping to find treasure. Without a map, all we get are shallow holes, not the treasure we seek. So how do we break from this cycle? Start by asking, is this task leading me closer to my bigger goals? If not, it's probably a minor thing masquerading as a major task. Prioritize actions that have real impact that move you forward in life's meaningful race, not just the daily sprint. True achievement is about progress, not just motion. 
It's about building, growing, and moving towards something greater, not just filling time with tasks. We need to shift from being busy to being productive, from filling our days with tasks to fulfilling our life's purpose. Remember the goal is not to be busy. The goal is to be effective. To live a life rich in achievement, we must discern the real from the trivial, the impactful from the inconsequential. Let's not just go, go, go in endless circles. Let's move purposefully towards our dreams, crafting a legacy of meaningful actions, not just a flurry of busyness. Let's redefine success, not by how filled our time is, but by how fulfilled our lives become. Diving into our day, swamped by tasks, we often find ourselves at a crossroads. Which duties are truly vital and which are mere distractions? It's like standing in a bustling market, deciding where to invest your single precious coin you could spend it on fleeting trinkets or invest in something that grows in value over time. In our lives, how do we discern between the clutter and the crucial? Let's peel back this layer. Every task that knocks on your door wears a mask. Some appear urgent, flashing like neon signs demanding immediate attention, but in reality, they're just noise, not substance. Then there are those tasks, perhaps less glamorous, quietly waiting that are the true building blocks for your future. Identifying which is which, that's the art we need to master. Imagine you're a gardener with seeds in your hand. Some are weeds, others are fruitful plants. Your garden's potential lies in choosing the right seeds to sow. Similarly, our time, the soul of our life, can sprout weeds of distraction or harvest of achievement based on what we plant in it. Now, here's a simple truth. Major tasks align with your core goals. They resonate with your deepest values and propel you toward your long-term vision. They are the milestones on your map. To In contrast, minor tasks are those that, while they might scream for attention, won't fundamentally change your journey's direction. So how do you differentiate? Begin by asking, does this task move me closer to my ultimate goals? If it doesn't, it's likely a minor task, regardless of its urgency. It's like distinguishing between gold and pirates. One holds lasting value, the other merely glitters. Let me share a tale of two salesmen, Tom and Jerry. Tom rushed around daily, ticking off every little task on his list, while Jerry focused on building relationships and understanding clients' needs. Tom was busy, Jerry was effective. Over time, Jerry's thoughtful strategy led to major sales and client loyalty, proving that prioritizing depth over breadth yields greater success. So how do we apply this wisdom? It starts with clear goals. Know your destination to recognize the paths that lead there. Each day, prioritize tasks that are steps toward those goals. It's about quality, not quantity. Here's a strategy to put into acts. At the start of each day, identify the top three tasks that will make the most significant impact. Ensure these are completed above all else. It's about planting the right seeds in your garden, ensuring the fruitful plants grow, not the weeds. Remember, time is the currency of life. Spend it on tasks that enrich your existence, contribute to your goals, and build the life you aspire to lead. Just as a wise investor, discerns between fleeting and fruitful ventures, so should we discern between the minor tasks that clutter our day and the major tasks that define our lives. In closing, let's not just drift in the busy currents of life. Let's steer deliberately towards our chosen horizons. Differentiating between the major and minor in our daily lives doesn't just manage our time. It defines the very essence of our journey. So. Let's commit to focusing on what truly matters, crafting a legacy not of busy days, but of meaningful achievements. Prioritize wisely and watch your life transform from a sequence of busy moments to a symphony of purposeful success. Pouring major hours into trivial pursuits surely sets one off track. Here lies a crucial nugget of time management wisdom. Don't confuse mere activity with real success. Picture someone staggering home Spent and weary, lamenting, I've been nonstop all day. And yet the pivotal query remains. Engaged in what I, exactly? It's not about ceaseless motion. 
I have observed many caught in a loop making minimal headway. This miscalculation, mistaking bustle for progress, is widespread yet often overlooked. This time, my friends, is the canvas of life and how we paint on this canvas determines the picture of our existence. Every stroke, every color choice, every shadow plays a part in the final masterpiece. Let's talk about painting our days with the vibrant colors of effectiveness rather than the dull hues of aimlessness. Effective time management starts with setting clear, actionable goals. These are the landmarks guiding our journey. Without them, we're just sailors adrift at sea, no port in sight. Knowing your destination makes navigating through the day's demands not just easier, but meaningful. Now, let's address a common time fee, the lure of the urgent over the important. Urgent tasks are like sirens of the sea. Their call is compelling, but following them often leads off course. To steer true, one must learn to prioritize. What actions will bring you closer to your goals? These are the tasks that deserve your prime time, your best effort. Consider the tale of two gardeners, each tending to their plot. One chases away every falling leaf, obsessively tie-dyeing while the other plants, prunes, and nurtures the flowers. Over time, whose garden do you think will flourish? It's a simple truth. Nurturing growth yields blooms. Mere tie-dyeing leaves the ground barren. We must also talk about the digital deluge of distractions we face. Emails, social media, instant messages. These are the weeds choking our productivity garden. Cultivating the discipline to limit these distractions is like pruning away the unnecessary, allowing the essential to thrive. So how do we cultivate this garden of time wisely? Begin with what I call the power of threes. Each morning, identify three key tasks that align with your goals and commit to completing them. This focus transforms your day from a random collection of hours into a purposeful stride towards your aspirations. But what about the unexpected? The tasks and demands that spring up unbidden? Here's where the art of time blocking comes into play. Allocate blocks of time for different activities, including intervals for the unexpected. This way, you're not thrown off course by life surprises but have a plan that accommodates flexibility. Remember, time management is not about packing every moment with work. It's about creating a rhythm to your day that harmonizes with your goals, values, and well-being. Just as in music, the rests are as crucial as the notes, so in life, breaks are vital to maintaining our tempo and harmony. Now, I've seen individuals, perhaps even like you, who've transformed their lives by these principles. Take Martin a once perennially laid and overbooked executive, by adopting these methods, he became a paragon of punctuality and efficiency, not by doing more, but by doing what mattered. If you're always caught up in little tasks, you're likely falling behind where you truly want to be. This brings us to a vital point about how we use our time. Don't confuse mere busyness with real success. Consider this, someone returns home every evening totally drained and mutters, I've been nonstop all day. But let's ponder, what exactly have they accomplished? It's crucial to understand that simply being active doesn't mean you're being productive. I've seen many people running in circles, exhausting themselves, yet making little real progress. Now, let's delve deeper into this, focusing on the power of concentration. Concentrating on major goals isn't just about having something to aim for. It's about bringing a laser-like focus to these goals, ensuring that each action you take is a step towards achieving them. To truly understand the power of concentration, imagine a magnifying glass that can focus rays of the sun to create fire. Similarly, when we concentrate our efforts and focus on what truly matters, we ignite the potential to transform our dreams into reality. Why is concentration so powerful? because it helps us to filter out the noise and distractions that life throws at us, allowing us to direct our energy towards achieving substantial results. It's about doing fewer things for more effect instead of doing more things with side effects. So, how can we improve our focus and minimize distractions? First, we need to define our major goals clearly. 
Understand what you're aiming for. What are the big wins you seek in life and work? Having clear goals acts as a compass, guiding your actions and decisions. Next, create a focused environment. This means setting up your workspace or home environment in a way that reduces interruptions. Whether it's tidying your desk, turning off unnecessary notifications on your phone, or setting specific hours for deep work. These actions create a conducive atmosphere for concentrated effort. Let's talk about the practice of deep work. Dedicated time where you're fully immersed in a task. This doesn't happen by accident. It's a skill that you develop by consistently dedicating blocks of time to focus on significant tasks. During these times, guard your attention as if it were your most precious resource. Because in truth, it is. Practicing mindfulness and meditation can also be incredibly effective in enhancing your focus. These techniques train your mind to be present at the moment, reducing the tendency to get distracted by every little thing that pops up. But let's not forget, maintaining concentration also requires regular breaks. Paradoxically, stepping away from work at intervals can boost our ability to focus. Techniques like the Pomodoro technique, where you work for a set period followed by a short break, can greatly enhance productivity and focus. Consider the story of a writer who struggled to complete her novel because she was constantly distracted by emails, social media, and household chores. When she started to apply these techniques of focused work sessions and control breaks, not only did her productivity skyrocket, but she also completed her novel much faster than anticipated. Incorporate the habit of asking yourself regularly throughout the day, is this the best use of my time right now? This simple question can realign your focus, pulling you back from minor tasks to concentrate on what's truly significant. So, let's not just buzz around busy with activity. Let's channel our efforts, our energies, and our attention to the tasks that truly propel us towards our major goals. Remember, true progress isn't about going, going, going in all directions. It's about moving steadfastly towards your dreams and aspirations. By mastering the art of concentration, we not only make the most of our time, but also elevate the quality of our work and ultimately the quality of our lives. Let's not just do things right, but do the right things with a concentrated, deliberate approach. Dedicating your hours to insignificant tasks constantly puts you on the back foot. Here's a fundamental lesson in time stewardship. Don't equate busyness with real progress. Imagine this. Someone staggers through their door each evening, drained to the core, and exclaims, I've been hustling all day. But ask yourself, what have they truly accomplished? It's critical to recognize that busyness alone isn't indicative of success. I've seen folks tirelessly circling, exerting themselves, yet essentially marking Let's delve into a pivotal aspect of life and career advancements. The power of investing in yourself, focusing on education and growth. This isn't about stockpiling information aimlessly. It's about meaningful learning that fuels your journey towards significant achievements. Why is personal growth so vital? It's because the world around us evolves constantly and to navigate this ever-changing landscape, one must grow, adapt, and evolve like a tree stretching its roots deep into the soil to reach greater heights, we too must deepen our knowledge to expand our lives potential. Investing in oneself isn't just about acquiring skills or credentials. It's about nurturing an insatiable curiosity, fostering a love for learning, and understanding that growth is a lifelong journey, not a destination. It's the kindling of a flame, not just the filling of a vessel. Consider this, the most successful individuals in any field aren't those who stand still, content with where they are. They are the ones who continuously seek to improve, to understand more deeply, to stretch beyond their current confines. They know that the greatest investment they can make is in themselves. So how does one go about this? It starts with identifying your passion areas and goals. What drives you? What do you wish to achieve in your life and career? 
Once you have clarity on these, channel your efforts into acquiring knowledge and skills that align with these objectives. It's about focusing not just on what's urgent, but on what's truly important, on what will make a meaningful difference in your life and the lives of others. Let me tell you about Anna, a mid-level manager who felt stagnant in her career. She realized that to move forward, she needed to upgrade her skills and knowledge. She began dedicating an hour each day to learning, be it through online courses, reading, or engaging with mentors. This investment in her personal growth led to not only a promotion, but also a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment in her work. Effective learning also means being proactive, not reactive. It's about seeking out opportunities to grow rather than waiting for them to come to you. Whether it's attending workshops, networking with thought leaders, or simply reading extensively, the avenues for learning are as vast as they are varied. And let's not overlook the role of reflection in personal growth. It's one thing to absorb information, but another to digest and apply it. Reflect on what you learn, integrate it into your daily actions, and watch how it transforms your life and work. Now, I hear some of you asking, how can I find the time for this? Here's the key. Make learning a priority. Just as you allocate time for work, family, and other responsibilities, set aside dedicated time for personal development. Remember, we make time for what we truly value. So let's not be content with merely going, going, going endless loops. Let's embark on a path of continuous learning and self-improvement. Let's transform our lives from being busy to being profoundly productive and fulfilled. After all, the most significant journey you can take is the journey within, discovering your potential, and unlocking the treasure trove of possibilities that personal growth brings. GP, pouring your time into minor tasks, let me remind you, leads to lagging in life's race. Here's a vital principle in managing our time effectively. Don't confuse simple busyness with genuine accomplishment. Imagine a scenario where someone, after a hectic day, crashes onto their couch, sighing. I've been running all day. Yet, what did they actually achieve? It's essential to discern that constant activity doesn't necessarily mean you're progressing. Many individuals find themselves caught in a loop active but without making real progress, mistaking this perpetual motion for actual success. Now let's address the hurdles that often keep us from focusing on the significant tasks, the major things that drive substantial change in our lives and careers. One of the most common challenges is the I'm too busy syndrome. It's easy to fill our days with tasks that keep us busy but don't contribute to our long-term success. Consider the story of Laura, a budding entrepreneur. She found herself overwhelmed with daily operations, responding to every email, attending every meeting, and solving every minor issue in her startup. She was busy, but felt stuck. It wasn't until she learned to delegate and focus on strategic planning, major things that truly mattered for her business's growth, that she began to see real progress. Another obstacle is the fear of stepping out of our comfort zone. Prioritizing major tasks often means tackling challenges that are unfamiliar or intimidating. It's like standing at the edge of a diving board for the first time. The water below is your potential for growth and success, but taking that leap can be daunting. I recall the tale of a young musician named Mark. He had incredible talent, but played only in his local neighborhood. The major leap for him was to share his music with a broader audience, which meant facing possible rejection and criticism. When he finally mustered the courage to perform at larger venues, his career took off, leading him to opportunities he had never imagined. Procrastination is another significant barrier. It's the art of delaying what needs to be done, often because we overestimate the time we have and underestimate the time tasks will take. It's like saying, I'll start my diet tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. Then there's the story of an author, Emma, who dreamed of writing a novel. Years went by with her saying, I'll start writing when I have more time. 
Realizing time would never magically appear, she decided to write a page a day, no matter what. A year later, her first novel was published. Each of these stories underscores a common theme. The journey to prioritizing major tasks is often riddled with obstacles that can derail us. Yet with the right mindset and strategies, these barriers can be overcome. So how do we conquer these challenges? Start by acknowledging that not all tasks deserve your equal attention. Learn to say no to demands that divert you from your main goal. Practice time blocking to allocate dedicated periods for your major tasks, ensuring they get the undivided attention they require. Moreover, embrace the discomfort of new challenges as growth opportunities. Each step outside your comfort zone is a step towards expanding your capabilities and, and achieving your major goals. Lastly, overcome procrastination by breaking down your major tasks into smaller, manageable steps. Like Emma, writing her page a day, small, consistent actions lead to big achievements over time. If you spend your days caught up in the minor, you'll always be chasing the curve, never leading it. Here's something I've learned. Constant activity doesn't necessarily equate to achievement. Imagine this, someone comes home every night, utterly spent, murmuring, I've been running all day. But what have they achieved? It's vital to understand. It's not the constant hustle that counts, but the direction and purpose of our actions. Many are just spinning their wheels doing a lot but achieving little because they mistake mere movement for meaningful progress. Now, let's explore the essence of living a life rich in fulfillment, focusing on what truly counts. The secret lies in honing in on the major things, those actions and endeavors that align with our deepest values and highest values. Take, for example, the story of a woman named Elizabeth. She spent years climbing the corporate ladder working long hours, chasing promotion after promotion. One day, she realized that despite her professional success, she felt unfulfilled. She reflected on what truly mattered to her and discovered a passion for teaching. Elizabeth made the bold decision to shift her career, becoming an educator. In doing so, she found a profound sense of satisfaction and purpose, touching the lives of hundreds of students. Or consider the journey of a man named Carlos who had a comfortable job but dreamt of starting his own business. Fear of failure kept him from taking the leap for years. However, when he finally focused on this significant goal, putting his energy into what he truly cared about, his startup not only succeeded but flourished, allowing him to impact his community positively and create a legacy for his family. These stories underscore a powerful truth. Focusing on the major, the aspects of life, and work that truly resonate with our core leads to a deeper sense of achievement and fulfillment. It's about quality, not quantity. About making our actions count, not just counting our actions. So how can we ensure we're living a life focused on the major? It starts with introspection, understanding our values, and what we ultimately want to achieve. It requires setting clear, meaningful goals and aligning our daily actions with these objectives. But it's not just about personal gain. Focusing on the major often means contributing to something greater than ourselves. It's about impact, about making a difference in the lives of others and in the world around us. This is where true fulfillment lies. Consider the legacy of great individuals who focused on what mattered most. Think of innovators who changed the course of history, of activists who fought for justice, of artists who created works that touched the hearts of millions. Their focus wasn't on the trivial or fleeting. They concentrated their efforts on creating, influencing, and improving on the major things. To live a fulfilled life, we must challenge ourselves to look beyond the immediate and the inconsequential. We need to ask, is what I'm doing now contributing to my legacy? Is it aligned with my deepest values and greatest aspirations? Living a fulfilled life by focusing on the major isn't just about personal success. It's about crafting a life story that we're proud of, one that inspires others and leaves a lasting impact. It's about finding joy and satisfaction, not in the accolades or 
wealth we accumulate, but in the knowledge that we've lived true to our purposes, making the most of the precious time we have. 